If I've learned anything from a lifetime of movies about the deep sea, it's this. Nothing good can come from exploring the deep sea. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into some of the strangest and most terrifying creatures lurking in our planet's oceans. Brace yourself. From the world's largest squid to a bottom dweller with an edible bottom, we're taking a look at the 20 most bizarre deep sea creatures ever discovered. <sighs> Number 20. Giant Squid when an animal is known as a giant squid, you expect them to live up to the name. I mean, who wants to find a three-inch giant squid, you know? Thankfully for all of us, the giant squid more than lives up to its name, and then some. The largest giant squid ever recorded measured almost 43 feet long and could possibly have weighed up to a ton. The important word there is possibly the squid was so big nobody could actually find out. But ironically, the huge size of the giant squid isn't really helpful in terms of seeing one in person. In fact, the ocean is so large and the squid so big that most recorded specimens come from corpses discovered by anglers. That is why the ocean is way deeper than you think. If an animal this big can't be seen, just imagine what else is lurking below there. So yeah, while most of us will never see a giant squid outside of a museum, we can confirm that they exist, and they're pretty huge, so this is absolutely not an instance of false advertising. Now we just have to get Disney to make an animated musical about it, and we'll be in business. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Monkfish Ah, uh, the monkfish. One of the most popular fish to be eaten in seafood restaurants all over the world, and yet one of the freakiest looking things you've ever seen in your life. I'm not kidding, you may be familiar with the restaurant dish, but you never imagined it like this. The monkfish is a deep water bottom dweller living in waters all over the world from the North Atlantic to the Mediterranean, but these fish are unique in more ways than one. While you may expect just about every marine creature to get around by swimming, especially fish, the monkfish gives a middle fin to that. It walks using their fins. But don't go thinking that this fish is lazy. They eat just about anything that happens to cross their path thanks to their fang-like teeth. And let's be honest, it's not exactly the most attractive fish in the world. You wouldn't want to encounter it in the depths of the ocean. Despite the fact that the monkfish is so meaty, humans only actually eat the tail. The rest of the fish is allowed to continue existing at the bottom of the ocean, where it will terrorize pretty much any other creature it can find. What a life! Number 18. The Anglerfish there are a lot of animals in the deep open ocean that nobody wants to encounter. High on that list, the anglerfish, one of the most terrifying animals in the great open waters. And no, I'm not kidding, they're seriously weird. The anglerfish has a unique and honestly terrifying way of hunting for its prey. Most other fish follow the same process, swim around, hunt down your prey, and enjoy. Not the anglerfish. This fish thinks of itself as something more. It's basically an underwater fisherman, and that's not even a joke. Using a modified luminescent fin ray, the angler fish lures other fish to their death with light, catching the unsuspecting prey and murdering them in a matter of seconds. It's a sinister ploy, but it works, and the angler fish never has to wander around the ocean feeling hungry. It's the closest to holding a sign reading free food you can get underwater. The angler fish is not specific to any particular ocean. In fact, it can be found worldwide, but it lives so deep in the ocean that most people will never encounter one. Unless, of course, you're somehow able to survive at extreme depths, in which case you may not be human, and you're probably already down there, so good luck to you. Number 17. King Crab 
All hail the king. Actually, let's rephrase that. All eat the king. That's probably more accurate, all things considered. Most people know the king crab for its meat, but there's a lot of fascinating stuff about this creature even when it's alive. Let's take a look. The king crab is a crab-like decapod crustacean that tends to live in cold seas. Because they're so big and their meat is so delicious, they're commonly caught and sold for food. So if you're a fan of crab meat, you'll probably have tasted the king crab at some point. Curiously, king crabs are thought to be descendants of hermit crab type ancestors, a theory that is supported by the fact that they share some unique genetic traits. Specifically, an asymmetrical abdomen. While the king crab's body is less dramatic, The hermit crab is also an asymmetrical creature because it must fit into a spiral shell. The theatricality. Yes, king crabs are probably better known in death than in life, but they're truly fascinating creatures. Maybe it's time we start acknowledging that. After all, it's only a matter of time before one of them starts an underwater jazz band with the help of a singing mermaid. Number 16. The Blobfish. Pretty much everybody who's been on the internet in the past decade will have seen the blobfish. It's one of the most unforgettable creatures on the planet, a hilariously unforgettable, cartoonish kind of slime thing unlike any other. There's nothing like it, that's for sure. The blobfish inhabits waters off the coast of Australia and New Zealand, but it's much, much smaller than you're probably thinking. In general, the blobfish measures less than 12 inches long and are almost always described as gelatinous masses, marking it as notably different from every other fish in the world. But that uniquely jiggly body is kind of a plus for this fish. While other fish have to waste their energy swimming around all day, the blobfish is content to just float, thanks to its lack of density. Sometimes it pays to be a blob, my friends. Don't be fooled here. While it may seem like the blobfish is some lazy thing that just kinda loiters in the ocean, that's very much not the case. Oh, no, wait. No, it is. The blobfish is content to just eat whatever edible matter floats in front of them rather than hunt for food. I hate how much I relate to this fish. Number 15. The Pacific Viperfish There are so many animals in the deep sea you don't want to encounter. That much is clear now, but the Pacific Viperfish? Well, that one should be pretty close to the top of your list, particularly if you're a small fish-type creature. The Pacific Viperfish is one of the most notorious predators in the deep sea. They're particularly known for their unique coloring, a dark, ultra-black skin designed to reduce reflections and allow them to blend in and possibly ambush prey. Speaking of prey, these fish tend to mostly consume other fish, though they have been known to go after crustaceans, plankton, shrimp, and other small fish. And if they're particularly hungry, a big fish. Because they're just that violent man. On average, the Pacific Viper fish can reach lengths of up to one foot long, making them more than capable of consuming a larger fish. We also have to acknowledge the bizarre teeth of the Viper fish, easily the best way to recognize one of these creatures. The fangs are so long that its jaw is extended, allowing the fangs to sit outside of the mouth and impale their prey. What a wonderful way to make friends! Number 14. Atlantic Wolffish they don't call them the wolf fish for nothing, my friends. Much like a wolf, this fish is not the kind of guy you'll find lounging around and doing nothing. In fact, this creature is one of the ocean's most voracious predators, and it's really, really proud of it. The Atlantic wolf fish mostly lives on a diet of spiny and hard-bodied invertebrates that basically includes animals like sea urchins, crabs, snails, anything with a shell, pretty much. When they manage to hunt down these poor prey animals, the wolf fish will absolutely destroy them making them a true nightmare for unsuspecting spiny invertebrates everywhere. But it's not just their actions that make the wolffish so frightening. These typically solitary creatures can reach lengths of up to 5 feet in length. And if they team up with a friend, you have a 10-foot pair of predators tackling you. That's not fun. 
Ecologists now consider the wolffish to be one of the North Atlantic Ocean's most important species due to its regulation of the invertebrate population. However, as wolffish numbers begin to fall, those same ecologists are calling for more conservation efforts to ensure the world doesn't lose one of the ocean's most prolific predators. We'll see if anybody's brave enough to do that. Number 13. Tynachellus one of the most fascinating things about our world is that new creatures are still being discovered every single year. The Dinocellus asubelli is one of the newer creatures, first discovered in 2007. The Dinocellus asubelli is one of those newer creatures first discovered in 2007. The scientists, of course, were very excited to hear the news. In 2007, this small deep-sea lobster was first discovered in the Philippines. At the time, researchers were performing the census of marine life when they happened to stumble upon this new and intriguing creature. In 2010, the creature was officially described in the new genus Dinocellus, revealing all manner of new detail about this never-before-seen creature. The biggest unique trait being those claws, the Dinocellus has two claws which are very different in size, elongated and contain many teeth on their inner surface. They're significantly smaller than your average lobster, measuring only 1.2 inches. But the those claws are so unique that researchers went gaga over them. I guess when your legacy is made by how many new species you can discover, there's some reason to be hyped about a new lobster. Now we just have to wait until they make their debut in a children's animation. That's when you know you've really discovered something special. Number 12. Goblin Shark there has never been a cute and cuddly animal with the word goblin in the name, so we should immediately dispel any belief that this fish is going to be anything but horrifying. In fact, let's get this out of the way. This thing will absolutely be in your nightmares, and I'd like to apologize in advance. Experts have long described the goblin shark as a living fossil, and that's not even supposed to be a roast or burn. The goblin shark is the only living representative of the Mitsukurinidae family, a group of animals that date back some 125 million years. And you can see the prehistoricness, right? These sharks, when fully grown, can reach between 10 and 13 feet in length, though some have been measured up to 20 feet long. Which is honestly pure nightmare fuel. You never want to see a fish that's this much bigger than you. Good lord. Luckily for... Well, all of us. The goblin shark doesn't tend to hang around water humans would hang in. The goblin shark is usually found at water depths greater than 330 feet, with some living as deep as 4,270 feet. So feel free to enjoy your lazy river without fear of encountering a goblin shark, unless you're dreaming, in which case, may the odds ever be in your favor. Number 11. Vampire Squid in one of the most disappointing false advertising cases in nature, the vampire squid has absolutely nothing to do with underwater vamps. As far as we know, there is no such thing as an underwater vampire. Yet. I'm sure Transylvania is working on it. The vampire squid's actual name is Vampirotusis infernalis, or if you prefer the literal translation, the vampire squid from hell. With a name like that, you better be a little bit unhinged. Actually, the vampire squid isn't really all that similar to vampires, they can't fly, they don't suck blood, and they don't speak in thick Eastern European accents. So why is it even called the Vampire Squid? Because they look kind of like vampires with their coloring and cloak-like webbing. Look, nobody ever accused scientists of being creative, right? They're more of a say-what-you-see kind of people. While a vampire squid might not ever put you in serious mortal danger, it's still not the kind of creature you'd want to be alone with. Just like a real-life vampire, Empire. Yes, they exist. You better be off running in the opposite direction and seeking some garlic. Actually, we have no idea if vampire squids have any opinion on garlic, but it's worth a try. Number 10. Japanese Spider Crab 
Japan is home to all manner of amazing things. Beautiful food, anime, Takashi's Castle, and the world's largest legged anthropod? Okay, so not everybody is going to love everything that comes out of this crazy beautiful country, but you're gonna look at the crab, and you're gonna like it. The Japanese spider is found in waters all over Japan, but of course it's known for one thing more than any other. Those long, long legs. In fact, the Japanese spider crab has the longest leg span of any arthropod on Earth. Something Japan is very proud of. So proud of it, in fact, that they've since turned the spider crab's legs into an edible delicacy. Which is fun for curious foodies, but I imagine the ecologists and animal lovers aren't quite so crazy about it. In fact, the Japanese government has taken action to protect and conserve the crab. That may be a little risky, considering that the spider crab is probably the most sought-out species of crab in the entire country. Fishermen everywhere go to great lengths to track them down and capture a few of their own. Which is impressive, since the crabs like to hide in holes deep underground. Really makes you wonder what these fishermen are doing, doesn't it? Number 9. Gulper Eel most people go to Hawaii for the surfing, or the sun, or the beautiful flowers. Researchers and scientists, on the other hand, they go to Hawaii to uncover weird new creatures. And unsurprisingly, they usually find exactly what they're looking for. Let's meet the gulper. The gulper was discovered completely by accident. If by accident you mean that scientists were just exploring and ended up coming face to face with a strange eel, the scientists were of course as confused as it as you and I are. The bizarre face and pouch-like mouth, and that unique way of moving, just captivated the researchers. Then came a twist. The giant fish suddenly started deflating, becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, until it was the size of a regular grouper reel. The only difference? This one could puff up or deflate whenever it wanted. The world is just one big strange experience from start to end, isn't it? The original Discovery video shows scientists in a way we don't usually see them. Surprised, fun, excited. So I guess we should follow suit and maybe host a grouper group on group graduation. Well, that's not fun to say. Number 8. The Barrel Eye some of the weirdest animals on the planet come from the deep sea. That's not an opinion, but a fact. And if you somehow need more proof that it's completely true, may I introduce you to the Barrel Eye, one of the ocean's most confusing and strangest creations. The Barrel Eye, also known as the Spookfish, is a small deep sea Argentini form fish found in waters all over the world. I don't really have to explain why they got their name, but I'll do it anyway, they have barrel eyes. Was it worth the explanation? Yeah, these fish have two uniquely barrel-shaped tubular eyes that typically direct straight upward, allowing them to detect the silhouettes of potential prey animals above them. Seems like they'd bump into everything though, right? Not so much. The barrel eye can position their eyes to face forward, allowing them to see predators approaching from any and all directions. The barrel eye is what I imagine you'd get if you asked a child to design their own fish. It's a unique, weird, and kind of funky looking thing, but I guess it goes to show that even Mother Nature has her own unique and quirky designs. She just banishes them to the basement so nobody sees them. Number 7. Fangtooth the very name Fangtooth seems like the kind of hurtful insult a child would throw, but no, my friends, this is the officially recognized name of a fish. And it's all thanks to the scientists. Maybe scientists are the real kids. It's possible. The Fangtooth is a deep sea fish that can be found in tropical and cold temperate waters around the world. And I don't think I have to explain where scientists got the inspiration for the name, but I'll do it anyway. Way. They have big fang-like teeth. Who'd have thought it? Surprisingly, the fish isn't anywhere near as threatening or frightening as the name suggests. Actually, they're not threatening whatsoever to humans. The largest species reaches around 6.3 inches long, 
so you can rest assured knowing that a fang tooth is never gonna rip off one of your legs, because I know that was a big concern for some people. Still, any animal with a name like fang tooth is one that you'll probably want to swim away from. After all, deep sea fish are the shut-ins of the animal kingdom. They're not necessarily equipped to dealing with human interaction. Just a little tip for all you deep sea divers out there. Number 6. Isopod the giant isopod is not so much one specific species, but any of 20. Yeah, that's right, this is an entry for any of 20 species. You can pretty much pick whichever one you think is the weirdest and insert it right here. It all works. The giant isopod is mostly found in the deep, cold waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. In fact, some species have been highlighted as being the largest isopods in the world. But is anybody surprised by that? It's kind of in the nature. Anyway, giant isopods are often compared to the common woodlouse, but before you start thinking that it's just some weird science version of Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, they're actually related. The isopod and the woodlouse, I mean, uh, Kevin Bacon is not related to any deep sea animals, although that would be a pretty shocking revelation. Kind of sad I don't get to announce. Interestingly, anglers of all kinds don't much care for the giant isopod for a number of reasons. The biggest, they have a reputation for attacking or destroying the fish that find themselves in trawls. And that's a pretty easy route to the top of the most hated fish list. Number 5. The Chimera even for a deep sea animal, the chimera is weird, which is really saying something since pretty much every animal that lives this deep underwater is freaky and strange. It's just that the chimera is, uh, well, it's really something else. The chimera can be found in every ocean on Earth, except for the Arctic and Antarctic. Of course, you'd have to dive to a depth of more than 8,500 feet to actually see one, which is not as easy as it may sound. So let me give you a broad outline line of what they are, these fish grow up to 4.9 feet long, and their skeleton is exclusively constructed of connective tissue, which connects to more connective tissue. It's a little weird, their bodies are then covered with smooth, naked, and murky dark skin, and as if that's not all weird enough, they have a venomous spine in front of the dorsal fin, because why the heck not? So again, let me remind you that these fish can be found in almost every ocean in the world, but because because they live at such extreme depths, it's unlikely you'll find them. Unless you find the ones that live in shallow depths. Oh, did I not mention that? Enjoy the nightmare! Number 4. The Hatchet Fish if you were going to make a slasher movie starring a fish, The Hatchet Fish is a pretty great title. I'm not saying it would be a great movie. Actually, it wouldn't be because the victims would be underwater so everyone would just drown. This is a terrible idea, but the fish is real. The Hatchet Fish can be found all over the world, but the largest population has made south of Central America its home. Of course, even if you wanted to find a hatchet fish, you'd be facing a pretty big struggle. These things live at a depth of between 600 and 4,500 feet. So unless you're passionate about freaky looking fish, I'd say just watch the videos online. Honestly, there's not much else to say about the hatchet fish that can't be felt by looking into the animal's freaky looking eyes. I think that kinda says it all right. Actually, there is one last thing to share that will definitely earn its place on this list. The hatchet fish is capable of generating its own light, which actually would make a great horror movie monster trait. You could just imagine the thing creeping in the dark and then just lighting itself up. Anyway, I've just guaranteed that I won't be sleeping tonight, so that's fun. Number three. Stargazer. Have you ever wished you could have eyes in the back of your head? Eh, probably not, but if you did, you'd be kind of like a human dargazer, right? Although you'd have to be face down on the floor to see the stars in that context. Okay, let's look at the actual stargazer for inspiration. The stargazers are a family of fish that have eyes on top of their heads, which is obviously where they got the name, but that's not their only strange or bizarre feature. 
they also have an upward-facing mouth in their huge heads. But they don't look like this just for the fun of it, of course. The stargazer has an upward-facing everything for the purpose of hunting. These fish bury themselves in the sand and shoot upwards to catch the prey that passes above them. So it turns out they don't really care about the stars whatsoever. The stargazer is one of the strongest fish in the world and also probably one of the scariest. The thought of having an animal ambush you from below? Well, that's, uh, it's the last place you'd look, so it's pretty smart, all things considered. Still not pleasant, though. Number 2. Thrilled Shark if you ask people which shark is the scariest, most people would say the Great White, which makes sense because they're not fun. But the frilled shark, man. There may be scarier than the Great White when you really stop to think about it. Here's my pitch for why the frilled shark is scarier. It just is. But if you want some more detail, fine. Just imagine for a second, 25 rows of backward-facing teeth, around 300 in total. Pretty terrifying right? You're thinking of the mouth of a frilled shark, a natural killing machine so well crafted that nothing could ever escape from its grasp. And not only are the teeth incredibly sharp, but they also have sinister looking spines known as dermal denticles, which are not anywhere near as funny as they sound. They line the shark's mouth and don't really serve a purpose other than to cause the maximum amount of pain possible. Of all the sharks in the world, the frilled shark may not be the best known, but it should be. This thing is easily up there as one of the most dangerous. I mean, if you happen to even get a thread cut on one of its teeth, you may well just climb right in and make a little home for yourself in the shark's belly. Home sweet intestine. Number one. The Dragonfish. We need to finish strong on this list, right? Well, you can't get much stronger than the dragonfish, a small deep sea fish that looks like something even Tim Burton would reject as too weird. It's kind of a cross between a creature from Alien and a goldfish, but worse. In fact, the dragonfish is more of a collection of animals than a specific species. Dragonfish could be one of around five species of small marine fishes from the family Pegasidae. All of them just as terrifying as the last. Thankfully, you won't encounter them unless you're hanging around the depths of warm Indo-Pacific waters. And even then, why? Anyway, the dragonfish measures around six and a half inches long, and it's easily spotted by its terrifying face and the incredible armor that encases it. Because like the creature from Alien, you need to protect yourself against uh, predators. You see what I did there? That was for my Alien vs. Predator fans out there. The dragonfish is also sometimes called the sea moth, but as you've seen, it's far more intimidating than a typical moth. Experts recognize it as one of the most voracious and fearsome predators in the deep, right up there with uh, every other animal that lives in the deep sea. Just don't go diving, I think, is the message we want to leave you with today. What do you think is the weirdest animal in the ocean? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time.